What's up, guys? So I got this tall case right here. Tall, tan, and handsome case. <clears throat> What's up, PC Pete? PC Pisse. How are you doing today? Do you ever hear anything back from the uh, mouse company, mouse pad? They said that they're trying to print it now. Oh, okay. So they got your emails. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> My, yeah, your emails. Four in a row. Hello, Tool PCP. Hello. So this is, what's the Twitch Problem? name? Problems. Problems PC. Problem, are you here? Uh, local uh, customer that came in with all their PC parts that wanted us to build a PC for them. So here we are. Now we're we're going to build it. it. We're going to break it. Um, so for those watching on Toasted Clips, what's up? We don't have a build sheet for this one, so I'm just going to kind of like run through all the parts real quick. Yeah. So we have the Ryzen 5 7600 6 core 12 thread, which is the non-X, so it's going to run very efficiently, 65 watt TDP. Uh, for the motherboard, we have a Gigabyte V650 Gaming XAX. That's a nice name right there. Very nice motherboard. Uh, to cool this CPU, which is going to allow it to boost very high, we have the Deepcool LS520 SE. I don't know what the RGB setup's gonna be like, but I'm hoping this is the RGB. Um, it has some RGB logos on it. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Um, in terms of the RAM, we have good old DDR5 memory, Corsair Vengeance uh, memory, which is designed for AMD. So we've got the AMD optimized memory. Storage, we got a two SSD setup. We've got a Corsair that I almost just threw on the ground, uh, MP600 Gen 4 SSD, and then an MP33 two terabyte Gen 3 SSD. So probably for extra games and then OS, so pretty cool. Um, and then we also, for the GPU, the 6700 XT, one of our favorite Classic. cards right now. Great card, um, 1440p, high refresh rate, no problem. This power supply is great for upgrades in the future. We have the FSP Hydro G750 watt. It's off wet. <coughs> I love when they say it's off wet. Um, and then the case is the Land Gold 216, which we are very familiar with. Familiar with. We built it in a couple times. Yeah, and as far as the price in this build, I honestly don't fully know. This is a case where we had a customer who said, hey, I want to bring in all of my own parts. I just want you guys to build it, and I believe install Windows yeah, I'm gonna take a picture um, for, for them and thumbnail. everything. So, yeah, that's something that we offer. As far as like what we charge, um, typically it's anywhere from like 75 to 200 bucks for us to build uh, your PC. And the reason it's such a wide range is it just, I mean, you know, if it's a really simple build that'll take us 30 minutes, you know, it's probably going to be, you know, closer to the 75 uh, point. Yeah, we need to keep the boxes. Yes. Um, we'll throw but, away all the boxes. <laughs> but if it's like a really intricate build that has like, you know, a, a couple of uh, like AIOs in it, like the graphics cards look cool, the, um, you know, it's plenty of RGB custom sleeve cables and stuff, then that's a case where, yeah, we're going to, we're going to charge you a good amount. That's a your case. case. Yeah, well, you're the, it's my job. <laughs> I don't like it in cases, though. Matt, hey, there's Froblin. Is he here? What's up? What's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. We're building your computer. We're dropping. We promise not to mess it up. Too bad. Oops, I charged him four hundred to build it. That's Whoa. so much money. Good job. We're not worth that. Good job. Before tax, it was thirteen hundred dollars. Not too bad. Not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so, where did you end up getting most of your parts from? And I did notice. I was curious. Is the, is your GPU uh, like used, new? I just saw like the seal had been broken, so I was just curious. Could be some eBay hunting. That's a nice build for the box. That's a nice build. Wow. Oh, wow. It's a nice port. Very cute. What's your opinion on all-wheel, are you saying all-wheel drive or are you trying to say AMD? <laughs> yeah, all-wheel drive. I, I, like, I like both, you know. All-wheel drive's cool. <laughs> Great for uh, having lots of traction. Different, you're in like a different stream for that. But. Hey bro, it's been a few days since I popped chat, what's up? X, or X chatter. Oh, you said GPU's new, I just wanted to look at it before I gave it to you. I, I respect <laughs> it. What did it look like? Like a graphics card. Was it, did it look like it was going to compute some graphical cores? Those XFX GPUs are really nice looking for the price, and they're normally the most affordable AMD GPUs you can get. Yeah. They're like three fan, they look pretty clean. Stealthy. XFX can P and Y, they're coming in cheap. What color sleeve cables do we got? Are they the black ones? The black ones, nice. We got all black with RGB, can't go wrong with that. But is, this like, box was so much more fancier than normal. I'm not used to having like... Oh, I don't remember that. Did they change it up? Maybe Morning, it. folks. What's up, Coconut? 
Bro, this one has pins on it. Bro! <laughs> He's got the pin version. <laughs> yeah, y'all have heard of a bin chip, but we got a pin chip. Pin chip. Yeah, right. Oh gosh, big ol' You guys wouldn't believe it, but these guys actually build PCs. You wouldn't Doctors hate us. Alright, Jackson, you gotta do some crazy kill management. There's no screw on this back panel. Uh, it's, just, it's just a push. Isn't, um, it's not this one, but there's another Lee and Lee Lane one that has, like, the glass in the front and the back. Is it the... The Lane Cole 2 or something I think like so. That? Um, so it looks like we have an ARGB header coming off here. So as long as the AIO is ARGB, which I think it will be, or at least have some sort of adapt adapting to ARGB, we should be good. Where'd you guys put... Um, that's a good question. Where did we put the custom from yesterday, Ricardo's PC? Uh, Zach S. I put it in, I accidentally put it in the listing room, but he recognized that it was a custom and he asked what to do with it. So I said to go ahead and get it out on a test bench. Um, so I don't know if he ever moved it or not. I he, appreciate all the shout outs on Twitter, by the way, Ricardo. He did a lot of shout outs about his yeah, building. Thank you, yeah, that, that's exact words were, I'll, I'll give it to Andrew. And I said, well, why don't you go ahead and get the driver started and stuff? And he goes, uh, and he just walked away. So. so I don't really know. Lee and Lee, why does this, the glass, have a screw, but the back panel doesn't? I don't Lee, know. Explain. That, that's, yeah, that's like really backwards. Because you shouldn't need as much on this. I don't know. That's interesting. Interesting choice. Yeah, so this cooler is definitely RGB, but is it ARGB? The good news is, it, actually, what are those? Are those ARGB? Yeah, there is an ARGB header in the back, so it should all work if, if Deep Cool wants to play. Well, there's these. an ARGB running off of the little hub that they came with, so... Oh, so it's like proprietary to ARGB? Uh, no, actually, it's... Yeah, there's ARGB. It's such a weird hub. It's like there's an ARGB header, there's one, there's one, there's one, and then oh, there's okay. the fans, and then there's this thing coming off. So there's no proprietary so far? No proprietary so far. I, don't, I think Equal, at the very least, has an adapter to ARGB. Yeah, because I feel like I remember them always having proprietary, but yeah, I think it, I think it goes to it at some point. At some point. You guys are legendary, thank you. You're legendary. Sorry, guys, that just came out. What's up, Pinky Tech? How you doing? Pinky Tech. Pinky, 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 Pinky Tech. Pinky we're so excited tech. for our ad upcoming soon. You're going to hear about it every day I'm ready for the, I'm ready for the draft. I need to see it. I'm going to be blown away by the sponsorship. It's going to take, take us to the next level, Pinky Tech. Next it, level or a bust. One of the terms, though, that we're going to put is um, if it goes viral, we own the video. Yeah, we own you. <laughs> Your channel is ours. Yeah, I heard you're not feeling well. I saw you posting on Twitter. Is it, is it getting any better? No rush on it, man. Okay. Yeah. What do you feel like, Pinky Tech? I heard his whole family was feeling kind of sick. Oh. Is it the COVID? Is it, um, becoming a new MCN? Stop it. So we're not calling it COVID-19 anymore because we're way past that year, guys. This is not COVID-2023. <laughs> yes. Much better today. Good. See, if we were an MCN, we wouldn't call it an MCN because that's, that's just not... Oh, so we call it a pyramid scheme. Speaking of mouse pad. Email? Yes. First, like, is call let's email? see. Let's see. Uh, Flight changes new design. Oh, they're ARGB. They can't improve the ruler at all. <laughs> okay. We did improve on the result by a decent amount, so I was wondering if they'd be okay with us doing one more test print to see if we can get this spot on. The production team and I have been trying to think of resolution for this and have some ideas. The only thing is the production crew have been gone on break from June 26th. Unfortunately, we'll be able to have them until another sample by June 26th. Basically, he said we tried another print, didn't work, but we want to try again. But it won't be until June 26th that we can actually get you a new print. Mm, okay, so it's really sorry for inconvenience. We're committed to exhausting all options as accurate as possible. We have to wait for another sample update. Okay, I mean, oh, here's one thing we could do if we're if we're eager. We could always just go. We know the other designs are fine, mm -hmm. like the other two designs. We could always just to go ahead and get the whole mouse pad shebang started. Go ahead and do a small bulk. Those are a lot cheaper, anyway. So we, I think mm -hmm. we could do probably the, do the normal. We could probably pads. afford like one to two k worth of those. Yeah, and then yeah, throw them up on the website. Cool. Sorry, the basic mouse pads will come. We're gonna hold off for now on the uh, the launch of the what's it called? The other ones. Yeah, but there's basically just still some design flaws on the 
as you can see, there's a lot going on on these massive mouse pads. You can really see it in the overhead camera. And so we just want to make sure that those are perfect. The other ones are very simple. There's not really much to them. So we could go ahead and uh, roll those out pretty much whenever. Just because at this point, I, th I think everyone, I, th I know I'm eager. I, I want some mouse pads out there, guys. Mouse pads! Hey, Google, play Harris Heller on Spotify. Show up. It's quiet, too quiet. Let me tell Tom. Play Calvin Taylor on Spotify. Hey, Google, play Harris Heller on Spotify. Shuffle. Calvin Taylor. Who in the hell is that? Dude, this is about to start playing some slow jams. Uh, if you need books printed, I know a guy. You know a books. book a book printer, huh? Time to start our novel. <laughs> the Chronicles of Matt and Jack. The Chronicles. The struggles. The struggles. The struggle bus. Welcome to the struggle bus. You gotta move it. I saw something the other day, but this was on Facebook. That's where I get most of my news, honestly. So it's always like probably fake, but it was like saying that the. I think the electric slide is like talking about a, a, a toy. Oh, is it? A electric toy. And I was like, huh. Is it really, guys? I don't know. Chat, any any comments on that? It will ruin my childhood, but because I remember remember like we would play it in the elementary school PE. That would make things a little a little <laughs> a little weird. <laughs> is it about an electric toy? It's electric, boogie woogie. <laughs> What kind of toy, Jackson? That's what Pinky Tech says. Pinky Tech, you know what Pinky kind of tech, toy. Pinky Tech, you're sick, buddy. You're sick. You're not thinking clearly. We know what toy. I'll just put it like this. It runs on gas. It runs on gas. Or a 12-volt car battery. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, In Jedi. How are you, In Jedi? In Jedi, have you ever danced to the electric slide, Boogie Woogie? You have to move it. I don't know how that makes sense. Um, I, I'm like I, listening I, to the lyrics and I'm just like, I, I can't. Are you playing them in your head? I'm just like, does that make sense? That toy sounds intense. <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> it's shockingly electric. You spin me right round. Now that's something I could see being about all kinds. I mean, I, I think I'm pretty confident I know it's about some, some weird stuff. Can't say I have. What's y'all's thoughts on the XT versus the non-XT version of AMD cards? It depends on the card. Um, I know, like the 68, like there's some variables. Like the 6600 versus the 6600 XT, you're getting extra performance, but the VRAM is the same. You have the 6800 non-XT only has 10 gigs of VRAM versus the 6800. Not wait, no. 6700 non-XT has 10 gigs of VRAM. The 6800 XT has 12. So that's a more substantial upgrade. Um, and then for the 6800 non-XT, it has the same 16 gigs of VRAM as the 6800 XT. So, you know, it, it, there, it's a difference on each level. So I really, you know, it just depends. Um, but you can see benchmarks on YouTube is the best way to compare the two and see if that performance uplifts towards extra price. Um, I don't know if you know what you're talking about, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Because AMD stands for all my dicks. <laughs> all my dicks. I'm going to ask them that at the next press meeting. <laughs> so does AMD stand for all my dicks? If you ever did something like that, I would. I just wouldn't even be upset. Like, that's the crazy part. And then that's when AMD's like, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. But, but it happened before. We, we've been ghosted. Like, it, every company has those moments. We wouldn't even do anything bad. They were just like, no, goodbye. How we're still getting an NVIDIA GPU, I couldn't tell you after throwing it in an OptiFlex. I was fully expecting an well, email being like, let's, why? Let's be fully honest. If Everyone, we looked at the other room, yeah, like, at least we used it. Yeah, well, at least we used it, and we didn't straight up just say, yeah, it's a total shit card. Like, it sucked. We were just more like, <laughs> yeah, you know, we just don't really think we should put it in a normal computer. Let's put it in an OptiFlex. Yeah, there, there's people who probably got other comments. And, and, and I think we can both agree that it, it was cool. Like, it going it was, in the OptiFlex and it doing as good as it did. No, yeah, it's, cool. it's gonna be a good time. A couple days ago, it was pretty cool. I got recognized once in Call of Duty for my videos on YouTube. And Jai, you're just Whoa. grinding it, dude. Killing the game. Love to see it. You have, you have any more posts upcoming in Jedi? Any upcoming videos? We 
We're definitely gonna, we're gonna have to play that song later. Nate Tech, you're blowing up. I saw your, you got a, a one out of ten on your recent video. That's always Ooh. a good feeling. Is that the one where he's talking about the collab? Yes. So Mickey Tech, I was watching that video, so I assumed that th that's just like a teaser, basically, right? Or are you actually like, are you gonna build a PC, right? <laughs> are you building a PC, or is it one of those like you show the parts kind of challenges? Yeah, I was thinking, like, it looked like he had all the parts on hand, but it didn't get built, and I was, I was disappointed. I was like, oh, is it, where's the PC? What is the plan, Picky Tack? Explain. Oh, it's not getting ready to throw this away. Can't do that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm building it. That's the next one. Look at okay. you milking the content. Yeah, that's not. That's a good idea. I was just, I was just making sure, honestly. I mean, I wasn't gonna judge you if you didn't build it, but I would have judged you. Well, that's the, that's the old, the old Linus Tech Tips way, where they have multiple parts, parts to a video. Yeah, it's always like a part one, part two, part three. That's how you maximize the ad revenue. Maximize revenue. I wonder, like, I don't. Parts don't really work as well now because everyone like. I feel like people's attention span is very short, so having like multiple yeah. parts, it's better to like condense it all down to one video, even if it's a little bit of a longer video. Parts were great before TikTok and Instagram and Facebook Reels existed, guys. They were. Now, no one has the attention span to wait for another part. I honestly never really, I mean, I, had, I just have to be really interested in it for multiple parts. Because I know the, the Scrapyard Wars series that Linus used to do was like five episodes, and they would like really draw it out. When we do those, that's a, that's a one day thing. <laughs> and hey, that's, I mean, honestly, man, that's why Linus isn't CEO anymore. That's it. <laughs> He's done. He didn't step down. They actually they, forced they, him down. They, ha they had to get rid of him. Just, just kidding. Just down. kidding, Linus. Don't cancel our LTX passes. Oh, oh, oh my god, he's, can you imagine if we got an email like, right now? It's he's like, like hey, guys. um, guys, you're done. I'd be like, but, but my plane ticket. <laughs> He's like, well guys, I guess we're just going on a trip to Canada. We're gonna go check out, we're gonna go find where the geese are coming from, from McAllister. <laughs> the geese. We should probably ask McAllister about that. Like, if you'll, like, I mean, Canadian geese, will you be able to they, handle them? They might end up in jail, to be honest. Because they, they take they pride probably, in geese. They probably protect those geese. Oh yeah. I mean, shit, if they're protected here, imagine how, how well they're protected there. They probably have like homeland security for geese. You know Linus the screwdriver guy? Yes. Buddy. Screwdrivers. Look at these. He's he's the screwdriver guy. That's all he's known for. He's our from AutoZone, buddy. Hitting the zone. Linus tech tips. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna have a lot of storage. So he had three terabytes total? It'd be four terabytes, so it was two two terabytes. Oh shit, I didn't even yeah, okay. It's two terabyte gen four and then a two terabyte gen three. Whenever people come in with all that storage, I just always am questioning what they're doing. Because like, I mean Matt and I just finished uh, both of our PCs have two terabytes and I've checked my PC and I was like, oh, I was only using like a terabyte. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. I really think it's just people who just like to have um, all their games installed at once. Like they don't want to uninstall games. Um, we might not have enough CPU power connectors. Well, I mean, the cooler is going up top, I think, anyway, so. Unless these work. No, they don't. Okay. All right, sorry, no CPU power, Salibeth. That's fine. You want these what? These, these nuts. Oh, uh, probably. Did you hear what he said about your PC? These nuts. He said, he said, he's throbbing on them, throbbing. <laughs> Is Froblin throbbing in the morning? He's gonna be like, I don't wanna pay for this anymore. This should be free. Uh oh. Email from Micro Center. Sign uh -oh. this NDA for a opportunity at a review. Ooh. Guys, should we do it? Should we tell you guys should, what it should is? Should we right? sign we the sign NDA it? and tell you? Or should we not sign it and then tell them? They're like, no, you tell me and then I'll sign the NDA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what happened. They're gonna be like, that's not how that works. Is, is, oh, it is a product. It's not. It's not the. They, they said products. So oh, okay. I don't even know. I was wondering if maybe it was like the. I mean, I think people know about the store by now, but. Yeah, they leak. Apparently, there was a leak about that. I don't know if that's official or not, but there was a leak. I'm saying this as if the leak I saw. There was a <laughs> leak about the Miami and Charlotte store. Oh, okay. So that'd be kind of cool for those who were in that area. I don't know if that was official or not, but I can't confirm or deny that information. Yeah, but you know, we should be at the Indianapolis one. Who's leaking? I don't know. 
Oh, they did they announce that on Twitter? Did they? Let me let me verify. <laughs> but, but like I don't know anything about it. But like let him just check real quick. Just in case it's true. Just in case it's true, because like I I know nothing about that. Oh, they retweeted it. Okay, so yeah, all right, there you go. Wait, they retweeted. They retweeted. Retweet, they re I don't know if it was a leak then. It looked like a leak because it was from like a bunch of those news sites. It wasn't yeah. from Microcenter, but they re retweeted it. They never made their own like announcement. It looks like they probably just told them. Well, based on that announcement, Miami and Charlotte, there more Microcenters coming. The PC Bros, more coming soon. <laughs> Yes, exactly. We'll be in every state near you. Just kidding. We're buying out the competition. Matt doesn't recognize when he's leaking. Yeah, it kind of just happens. It just leaks. I'm sorry. He's like a squid. I need diapers. Diapers? I need diapers. Bobo, bobo. Tool, it's your job to let everyone know that don't eat lunch today. And don't come to work today. It's, it's the day, Tool. Just so you know. Don't come to work today. <laughs> don't come to work today. It's one of those days. So don't come to work today. Everyone will be here? Matt leaks the fish smell? No, we've come to the conclusion it's Zach's feet. Yeah. Been I still haven't heard back from the electrician. <laughs> he's, he's on vacation every it's, day. Well, like, I... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just like that he said he was on vacation, and then he said he could come Friday. <laughs> but then I said no to Friday, and now he's just, like, not responding. You should have never said no. I mean, that was the only day he wanted to work with us. And now he's like, well, I hate these guys. What did you say about me, Matt? Well, I said nothing about you. I was just saying, just prepare yourself. For Indiana Bones. For Indiana Bones. Dr. Bones. Chad's a Bones day, is what we're trying to say. I wish I could find that clip. That was like my favorite thing ever was that stupid, like, scary. I was, we're in our Phasmophobia stage. Oh, I, I've seen that clip recently. Oh, really? um, the one we were playing. What was it? The... I think it was McAllister. He screams like, Dr. Bones. Well, that, was, well, that wasn't Faz. That was the... Um... It was like Faz. It, yes. was, uh... it was the one was like the mummy temple or whatever. Yeah. And that one was so funny. I don't know why it was so I funny. I believe it was called a tomb. <laughs> the mummy temple. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh... Not Labyrinth. I know we played that one game. It was like Labyrinthian or whatever. Uh, but that wasn't it. What the hell? Zach! What was the name of the Phas Phasmophobia like game that was like the mummy tomb? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. It's the one where McAllister said, Dr. Bones! Yeah. Is he scrolling through I'm, 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 I'm trying to see if chat gets to it first. I mean, I could find the clip because we had it was one of our popular clips when like there was like a loud screaming noise from the character and everyone yeah. was using their mic. It was pretty bad. No, I remember the mics were. Remember that they had like the echo. Yeah. What was that real for you? He's really hunting. And, and Chad's just talking about. Oh, we got a guy saying, "I don't care." Yeah. You're watching the NBA draft. How am I watch it tonight? I don't know. I don't really care about the NBA, but I like to see when UK players get picked. What if watching the drafts caused you to get drafted? Give me something. Don't send me to the draft. My first ad in a while. You get an ad, gummy beer? How can you have gummy beer? Gummy beer 69. Wait, uh, motherboard ready? We haven't thrown anything away yet, have we? No? I put him putting stuff over there. there. I'm really pretty sure but... I haven't thrown anything away. If I'm being honest, I can just. I what was it called? Forewarned. Forewarned. That yes. sounds right. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. Like forewarned and seven years ago. Four Can't get drafted if I break my leg. <laughs> okay, coach. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, they'll wait. <laughs> they'll wait. Like, oh, you can recover. Yeah, they'll be like in the in the hospital with you. Like, all I gotta tell them is I'm a YouTuber, and they'll know my mental defects. <laughs> oh god. They'll be like, you're not mentally sane enough to be able to go. Imagine through. sending TikTok stars off to war. <laughs> like Jeffrey Star. <laughs> Jeffrey Star. 
Dude, imagine, imagine like you're on the enemy side and you just hear, hey, sisters. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Dude, imagine Markiplier running at you. Markiplier. That'd be scary. You're imagine hearing, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Star Wars Outlaws. Outlaws. That's the new one, right? Like that they're talking about. Yeah, that's the new Star Wars. I have a question. I built myself a system and it runs pretty warm. 90C on the stock cooler is okay f to play like that for a week or so until I get a better cooler. Yes. And also, it, like, like, oh, yeah, like it's what? a 5600 with the stock cooler. It seems warm for a 5600, but I guess it depends on like it depends what on case yeah. and the environment you're in. Yeah. I remember, I think that was one of the builds we did recently with the stock cooler and the 5600 was a lot warmer than I thought it would be with it. But Yeah, and AMD can usually run pretty hot. I mean, I assume that's while you're gaming, right? It's not like if that's idle, then you got a problem. But if it's while you're like, if that's the max temp you've ever seen, is like it runs in like around 90, then I mean, it's fine for now. Rail for you, no problem. Uh, what are your thoughts on Halo Season 4? I didn't know there was a new season. I really don't pay attention to seasons. I mean, I've, I've, I've played the game a little bit recently, like, between benchmarks here, and then, like, I've played some at home. Um, we didn't play on the last stream, because I don't think anyone else really likes it. Yeah, yeah. You know how I feel. I can agree with that, but yeah. No, oh yeah, you must be in, are you in a pretty warm environment? If your idol is 44, you must be in a pretty warm environment. How warm is your room usually? I saw a post the other day where it was like, <clears throat> once again, Facebook, but it, it was it was like some scientific page, and they're like, here's what the optimal temperatures are, um, you know, for your house to have like the the best, uh, what do you call it? I guess the, like like AC economy. Mm -hmm. and it was like at night, 82. Oh I, no! When you're gone, I think it was like like from home, like 78. Yeah. Um, and then during the day, it was like 77 or something like that. I was like, Jesus Christ. This is miserable. I know, and we're definitely spoiled compared to other countries that don't even use AC. No, that's why I, I was reading the comments. You know, a lot yeah. of people were like, you are so on crack. Like, I'm 70, you know, like, year round. And then, like, a bunch of, there was a person, like, I live in Jamaica, and, like, it's regularly, like, 95 in my house. And I was like, man. GPU stays around 30 to 45, and I'm not using it. Um, you own a 3080 Ti, is that okay? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's usually 72 in here. Yeah, I mean, that's a bit warm. That's not too bad, though. But absolutely, you know, are you talking about Fahrenheit or Celsius? Because that push mine to the max. Idle is 96. <laughs> that's really hot for idle if that's, if that's Celsius. If that's Fahrenheit, that's, that's cool. Very cool. <laughs> That'd be something. I did not know if that was warm. Yeah, no, our house, I guess, yeah, it's pretty rare. I mean, my AC is just, like, on the frit. Like, it is bad. Like, it's, like, 25, almost 30 years old, I think. I'm pushing so, my new one. I'm utilizing oh, all dude, I, I mean, I keep, my thermostat right now is at 65. Really? And, it, and my house is not that cold. Like, no, it's, it's just not working. 65. It just yeah. doesn't work well. Yeah. No, I was, like, when we got the new one, I was, like, wow, this is something. <laughs> You're, like, whoa. One. So cool. It's nice, but I still think I probably should have gotten like a slightly like bigger one for the house mm -hmm. because they're still upstairs. Like it still just gets like really hot towards the end of the day. That's just like I that's feel just like kind of natural. Really, yeah. I would say I've never. I mean, even like your parents. I was thinking yeah. about like I know Zach has the same problem. Like two story yeah. houses are just really hard to They're cool. just cool. Yeah, my mine is like the problem is ours is just really old and then also. The way they did all of our vents, like, I don't know if they had such really see when they built my house. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not that old. It was, like, 60s, but... We have a 50s. stupid amount of vents, but I think it just can't push all the way upstairs, like... Yeah. Especially we, just, we just don't have a lot of vents. Yeah. I feel like I have, like, four vents in my house. I remember when we first got the house and we had Coit come and clean all the carpets. They, like, quoted us for, like, a ventilation cleaning mm -hmm. or something. They're like, you have, like, 40-something vents in your house. And I was like, what? Why are so many vents? Oh, well, look at that. He said we have a unit upstairs and a unit downstairs. Wow. And you added one for the base. So, wait, you say you have a unit. Are you upstairs. talking like a window unit? Are you unit? talking like a window unit? Do you literally have like central AC on each floor? <laughs> that would be wild. Because <clears throat> I didn't even know that was possible. We just added a window unit upstairs because like it just gets too hot. I have two window units in the in the guest house, but I don't even use one of them because it just doesn't work good enough. <clears throat> I see on each floor smaller units. Wow. Dang. 
Speaking of that, I, I should. I feel like I should sell one that's in my garage because that was like five hundred bucks. I think. God, that's and a I lot. Like, well, I got one of those. Like, I mean, because you know, it's for a big. Like, it's not. It's not. It's it's like the one in the warehouse. Oh, it's, it's like, like that one. one. Oh, wow, yeah. And I I don't ever use it because like the, that part of the garage is just the insulation does not work, so it's always hot. So I just I have it on fan mode twenty four seven. Like, wait, I could just buy a fan. <laughs> you could use a fan, <laughs> and then yeah. I have to run upstairs more at night and downstairs during the day. Oh, you said central AC on each floor, but they're smaller units. So you just have three small huh. units outside then, and it all runs to each floor? Is that how it works? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering, yeah, well, because, you know, like, you have the actual blower motor inside. So do you literally have, like, three furnaces and three AC uh, condensers outside? Or is it just, like, one condenser, but then, like, multiple blowers? Is it like a, is it like a heat pump setup? Or is it like a just... Do you get the pump, bro? You got the pump? Do you accept payment in CSGO knives? Uh, is, it, is it a cram but fade? We'll accept some CSGO knives. I'm just so fascinated with Pinky Tech's side here. <coughs> we knew Pinky Tech was bougie, but man. I didn't know he was like rich. I didn't rich. know he was rich, rich. Happy Wednesday. Got a Twitch alert from somebody. Happy Wednesday. Huntsman Lore. Is that a good knife? The Huntsman Lore. Sounds fancy. I can I can pay you in GE from War Thunder. General Electric. Dang, yeah, Pinky Tech said they had three of each. Dude, that's like an apartment <laughs> complex. That's wild. He's freaking, his house is the size of our old uh, office. Yeah. Big baller over here. I think a little... Same thing. We don't even need to pay you for that ad. You know, what the you hell? You should just be doing it for free, buddy. Sorry, I was washing dishes. Are you sure you didn't pay somebody to do that? <laughs> the nanny. The nanny. So Jay Dorsey says, split systems are a thing in larger homes. TVH My House should have one, but HVAC uh, went to the lowest bidder apparently. When did they start doing that? I feel like that's like a newer home thing. I, I have not, yeah. I mean, I well, I guess like bigger homes, like big, big, yeah. bigger homes, I think like really big though. Yeah. What's, what's the square footage of your house, Pinky Tech? I wonder what mine's considered. Because I know like some of mine's like unfinished, some finished. Yeah. I think mine's like right at like 2,000 square feet, something like that. I mean, I'm gonna have to Google what mine is. I think mine's like 100. So it's, I mean, I can see it being inter energy efficient if it's like a little heat pump setup with smaller units. That does sound like it'd be really efficient. Mine says 2466 square feet. I don't know if it's true though. <coughs> Since you bought your house, has your like uh, like the Zillow estimates gone up at all? I haven't looked. Are you scared? Maybe. My home was built in 2016, okay. And it's oh, 2400 wow. square feet. Not including base. So I guess that's just a new thing they're doing. Because yeah. that, that is a really new build. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let's see when mine says it was built. Mine was like the 70s. Yeah, I think that, oh yeah, the whole neighborhood I think was built in like the 70s. Because I remember the plumber I had come by and he was like, yeah, I remember when this neighborhood was built, I did all the plumbing for it. And I was like, oh, I think it was in the 70s. 32 by 64 barn. I like how the, yeah, dude, the barn one pissed me off because it says electric and water. And I'm just like, I mean, it's, it's there, but it does not work. Yeah. The electric is literally disconnected, and I'm like, it's probably for good reason. Power bills are normally like 150-ish bucks. It's not bad. That big of a house, if you had a normal setup, that'd be expensive. Mine says 1966. Nice. Mine's forced air and natural gas. <laughs> it's forced, Poor guys. Forced air. It's forced induction. Bro, my house is built in the 20s. Look at you. You have a piece of history right there. That was the other thing that they did with mine that was really dumb is they counted like they Yeah, they counted some of like so I don't even know like how they did my square footage because I'm like swear they counted some of the bedrooms and bathrooms in the mother in law. How does like, that work? Because well, it says it's a five bedroom, four bathroom. And I'm like, I do not have four bathrooms. <laughs> I have like so I, have, must be, I, don't know. I have two full ones, one incompleted one in the basement, and then a full one in the mother in law. So they counted that, and then it says total livable area is 2466 square feet, but total structure area is 3500 square feet. Absolute unit. Too soon, bro. Too soon. What do you say? Oh. McAllister's not here yet, buddy. 
Oh my god, yeah, I, I see that part now. Wait, why why is it all of us? What about Zach? Or Jonah? What about those guys? Yeah, what the we hell? We should be sending them down there. I mean, Callister is an eccentric billionaire with $200,000. We, we should send them down there, um, like, for a YouTube video. Yeah. Like, like, do you imagine the title, oh, We okay. Found the Submarine. <laughs> Callister buying his brand new build, 23. Nice. Have fun, dude. Yeah, the one thing I will say about new builds is just be careful. You know, make sure you, uh... Make that sure really that they have spend, that, yeah. most of the time they have like that one year period where like you basically live in it for a year and find out like all the things wrong with it that you want to fix and then they'll come back and fix them usually for free. Because I know that's what like um, our, our, uh, the other Zach yeah, yeah. got and they have had like <laughs> so, many, so many random issues. Yeah, no, I don't think nothing's been like big, it's just like tons of paint things. Um, one year builder warranty. Yeah. yeah, and then you know, like all the small things where it's like, just like they were saying, the bidders. You know, they get a lot of like, who they'll just always take the lowest bids, and a lot of times they get really crappy equipment. Homes aren't built like they were used to. I'm over at my house, is creaking. It's like that's a '70s creek. But it, but but it's a good creek. It's like a good it's, creek. It's the creek of like you know, it's not you're not gonna fall through the floor. Sometimes I question. <laughs> There's like random like uneven spots on my floor too. Like oh, I'm yeah. walking across the carpet, and I'm like, why is this like? You're like, why is there a hill here? Why is there a hill here? I don't understand. No, I remember when I was putting my, my fish tank in because I think all together, I, I think I estimated. I mean, it's like two thousand pounds, and I was like putting that in, there, and I was like, hmm, <laughs> second floor, is this safe? No, I had fun one day. I went through with the crawl space, and I was just like looking underneath. I was like, what is, like, what's going on up here? Did you ever, is that your first time in crawl space? Oh, I went the one time when I didn't know that we had a sump pump in our crawl space because I kept hearing like a sucking noise, and I was like, what is happening below my house? And then that's when I went underneath, and I was like, oh, wow, this is actually a very nice crawl space. Did you find any squatters? No squatters, but I was just walking around looking up, and I was like, oh, what's the, what's the floor look like? I don't have, sadly, no, no crawl space in my house. It's like a dungeon entry. It's like in that, um, <laughs> it's like right next to where my, uh, inside unit is and then you like go back underneath the stairs and you lift up this hatch uh -huh. and you crawl That's down there's a ladder that crawls down it's like a dungeon it's sick have you guys thought about my discord ban appeal what's your response well i think we said no because of the stuff you were saying i thought it was like <laughs> although there was like some racism involved and stuff <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, let me bring in the the moderator hey moderator are you available hey zach are you available to talk to V Smurfy and tell him why he's not getting his banner removed? Uh, yeah. well, what, what was the stuff he said again? Well, don't say it, but like, what did he do to get banned? Yes, not say, don't say it, but like, what, what was like the context? Like, why? Uh, I have to go back up again. Okay, he doesn't even remember. <laughs> no, I just like how he kept saying, don't, don't say it. I was like, don't actually say it if it's... <laughs> Ooh, do I three even join in the Discord, brother? Have fun. Don't get <laughs> don't get discouraged quickly. What was your Discord username again, V Smurphy? He's gonna be like, I can't tell you. Is it V Smurphy? V uh yeah, he typed it in the Twitch chat if you wanna pull it up. It's just V Smurphy. S-M-U-R-F-Y. Oh, so there's not two Y's. Yeah, there's not two Y's like the Twitch. Was, was, was the two Y's taken, bro? Is there any more room on this USB-C? It's like, it's like a stretch. <laughs> uh, I might need a bag if you want more room. Yeah, can you take it back and then put it through here? Oh, yeah, I can just do that. Then, then I don't think you need more. Maybe. Un OS. Mm-hmm. Everyone's switching over. The only thing I don't like about it is just the uh, the lack of reset switch for <laughs> like yeah. being able to RGB hook. They're not great, but I do like the times that they use like the plax plastic connector and they just push them all together. Oh yeah, because then you can you separate can take it. it apart if you want to. <laughs> That's a long Discord ID. What the hell? <laughs> Was there a reason Discord changed the name system? I don't know, but I feel like people have been complaining about it more than it's been actually good. Yeah. 
I don't know why they. I, I think I that. think everybody just feels like it's like unfair and blah blah blah. I never really cared because I'm just like I mean, it's still. I don't think it really changed anything. No. Anything else you need plugged in, or am I good to put the GP? Uh, you're good. It's actually like a really cool cable management system back here. Is it with like, like the hub and everything? Well, it's like like look at these. They're they're like clips. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm like why don't more companies do that? I'm so sick of living. Why don't you go right off and turn the radio? I hear Zach walking in here. He's about uh -oh. to bring you the you verdict. Better bring down the camera. Judge, I do have a verdict. <laughs> so unless I comb through the actual like yeah. bot logs that I don't feel like doing, I pulled up just what he got moderated for. He had eight moderations taken against him. Three of the kicks were due to, or three slash four, it was like three mutes that kick, were for toxicity and insults. Okay. Two were for racist comments. Okay. And the other three had no wave on All right, so one <laughs> racist comment, you know, I'd be like, you probably should work on that and not be racist, <laughs> but be a two, better person. but two? And it was Raffi who, Got him for the racist thing. And also so. toxicity. We just like we were kind of beyond that at this point. Like our our server is is to a point of like you to know a point of no return. Not not literally like I'm saying this figuratively, but like there's times where like <laughs> we're like do we scatter bolt it and like just delete it because like <laughs> it's just at times it's like why are we dealing with a bunch of like 12 year old kids and like we don't make money off the server. <laughs> Um, but we have to like babysit it constantly because people literally can't just be nice. Peace where we said one, not two. One is not acceptable either. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I guess the real question to Peace Murphy is like, why, why did you do it? Like, why did you think it was okay? It'd be different if you just didn't, if you didn't care about Discord and you're okay with getting banned, cool. But like, stay banned. why'd you do it and like, <laughs> You want to be unbanned now. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want to contribute to the server? Appeal your case now. To the highest court. That's like saying I'm only a little racist and not full-on racist. That's that's fair, I guess. Yeah. One instead of two. <laughs> Good. Maybe get a little stuff coming back through. Oh god, what happened to this? Uh oh. What did you do? I, I, I barely touched it. Oh my god. You're either I... racist fully or not. Racist fully. That sounds like tomfoolery. <laughs> I got all sorts of clucky wucky. You fix it? I think so. How'd you push these in here? They like totally separated and like just <laughs> expanded. I, I just like barely just like just to get them uh, so in the tire spot basement. I've never seen sleep cables do that. It just went blah. The skin came off. I like helping people with their PC builds. Help people A plus uh, with actually good builds. Guide them to go uh, over two week calls with them building their PC. Hey, but what made you racist? Yeah, again, like what, what, like I appreciate <laughs> what, what that. That's a good part of the community, but like, why are we, I don't know. <laughs> Get a job at Best Buy. <laughs> yeah, go make Geek Squad great, all right? <laughs> you want me to see it? Okay, he he claims he was only one time racist, <laughs> which still isn't acceptable. Making that very clear. Matt broke the screwdriver. He may have. Nah, LTD screwdriver is durable. They're built uh, Ford tough guys. Built Ford tough. Froblin, do you like the build so far? Yes, Frob <laughs> Well, this is a very reflective screen. Here, take a picture again. That's my thing now. The it's reflective. Like you in it? Yeah. It makes my head look huge. <laughs> Looks huge. <laughs> makes my head huge. Look at that. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, RGB, please. I was getting louder. <laughs> Do you power the RGB hub? Yes. Yeah. Eight on there. I mean, the fans are spinning. Is it one of those where it needs an ARGB header that's as well? That's what I'm kind of wondering. The one that's coming off of it? Yeah, that probably would be a good idea, honestly, to have a... Because I don't know how... Is there a button on top? The RGB button? No, it's just reset. Yeah. Let's do... Oh, yeah, there's one right here. 
Sorry, Zach. Did you say something? I said I forgot the part where you fan debated them like three pounds. Well, then just do that again if you really want to be back in the server. <laughs> and then you'll get banned again if you're naughty. If you didn't hear Zach, he ban debated on three accounts. I don't know if he's Murphy. It's, your case just isn't looking great. What is the weirdest PC I you've ever built? The comment was because as soon as he said it, he got banned, and they used it like they banned him through Discord. So like when you rectify your name, banned, then you can purge their messages. Mm. So they did that. When your messages get purged like that, they don't go to hot logs. Oh, there we go. So I can't see what he said, but he got banned for that. These front fans are so like dim. Yeah. You might be. Oh, I didn't realize they're ringed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> from what from the inside, you can't see the rings. So I was like, man, those are kind of sucky, but they're kind of cool from the front. There you go. Nice build. What do you think, Frob Noblin? I'm sorry I keep calling Frob that. It just keeps coming out. <laughs> Frob Noblin. <laughs> let's, let's see if this back panel goes on, because that's, that's the true test of cable management and authority. trying to call someone that and like it kept getting auto modded and he kept retyping it but I'm sorry you're done things, but I know. <laughs> denied denied like you were going out of your way to try and be toxic denied. I mean be smart when you're on the streams you're alright like you're, I don't remember you being bad in the streams but yeah I don't it, it, we just so we've had way like you don't understand how many people that are in the server right now that we've banned before and we've let back in um, to the point that like we're, we're just now like okay we're no more no more grace no more amnesty like we're done we're just banning people at this point we even uh, we even basically told people like if you're toxic like once now um, and we we mean toxic if you're <laughs> racist or like sexist or anything like that once you're just done but if you're like toxic we'll give you like one warning we're getting Jedi I'm praying for the day I get banned <laughs> <laughs> oh in Jedi why the music stop by the way. We started getting philosophical. What's up, Astriel? I haven't seen you here in a bit. Welcome back. Who let in Jedi out? <laughs> I don't think a Jedi ever really got banned. Who let him out of the kook, the cuckoo bin? What's y'all Discord? Discord.gg slash Toasty Bros. There it is. And Jedi for mod. Oh no, not Xenos. You lurk at setups and foods. There's like one person that posts in the food. We need more people posting their food. Guys, I want everyone like every day. Everyone in this Twitch stream, there's 61 people. Join the Discord server. I want you all to post your lunch or dinner in the food section. I want to see what you all are eating. Please don't post memes. If you want please to post don't. memes, go to the media yes. spot. But like, yeah. Please, like, post your actual food. I want to see what you guys eat. I don't want to. I know someone's gonna freaking post like a mini Cornish tin or something like this. Something stupid, and no one's gonna laugh. And then I'm gonna post our our bones day. Ooh, yeah. I'll post the Bones Day. You gotta post there. it and be like the hall. The hall. So everyone go in there and post your food. Smile. I don't know if Frost already ate. No. Or... Oh, did you see that um, another thing? Because you know the EU, the reason Apple is going to USB-C is the EU requires yeah. that now in, I think it says in the next two or three years, they're requiring all phones have a user removable battery. Wow. That's kind of crazy. That, that, crazy. that went from, you know... Like, they are all got phased out, and now that's a thing again. So, that's, that's we'll see how cool. Apple deals with that. <laughs> Have they ever had a removal battery? Never. Wow. Yeah, all of them are, you really had to, you know. No, but is that only the EU? So, like, could technically Apple be like, if they want to just say, they be really salty? Selling, yeah, they're just like, I'm not selling in the EU, but would they do it? I don't know. No, that's, that, that's really cool, because, I mean, that really is a big reason why... A lot of people, I think, change their phones out is they just get tired of the inefficiency. Like my phone lasts five minutes before it dies. Yeah, I think it says the um, iPhone and I, uh, the batteries have to be readily removable and replaceable. So whatever that means. Yeah, I, they're probably going to stretch that and still make it like. It's going to be user it. friendly. It's going to be user friendly, but it's probably going to be like they 
because Apple is required to give you like right to repair tools mm -hmm. and you can rent them from Apple, but they <laughs> send you like this massive, like really like ridiculous tool mm -hmm. um, to actually do like repairs and stuff on your phone. Um, but they'll probably do something similar where it's, you can do it, but it's going to be kind of complicated. I mean, even then, I think like if you get Apple Care, which again, it's paying Apple for it. Like if you pay Apple Care, I think battery replacements are like under fifty dollars or something, like thirty something bucks. And if you have a phone that you're like, oh, I still like it, but my battery sucks, get a new battery. So I recently moved to a different room in my house. Along with that, I moved my PC, but there's no Ethernet plug in my new room. Is there a way to make a PC wireless to connect to the internet? We just need to get a Wi-Fi adapter. I would highly suggest, I know it might be very difficult depending on where you're at, trying to run an Ethernet into the room. Um, I've had to get creative to make that work. Right, the EU ruling takes effect in 2027. It ratified the council, so yeah. A long yeah, time. Yeah, it's going to be a long time before we actually see that then. That's sad because it's like, you know that means the next uh, four or five phone generations. Yeah. What about the uh, cable one? That's the cable soon, ones, right? I think, is like this coming year. So, like, I think the next iPhone is going to have USB C. I really hope so, man. I mean, it's funny because like I, I'm not rooting for iPhone, but like yeah. I just I just want everyone to have the same connector. I think USB C. It's going to be USB C, but I wouldn't be surprised if Apple's like you get USB C, but if you want the full speed USB C, yeah. you have to get our specific USB C. Or like if you want full like charging. Yes, like yeah. the fast charging, you have to get ours, and that's going to be like oh really? Why? I guess it's still better than yeah, it's better than nothing. At least it's usable. PC Bros. Tech. Phones are expensive now. I will say, though, I mean, you're already paying a crap ton per month for, like, a phone plan, depending on where you're at. But most of the major carriers, they're giving you, like, past generation phones are basically free if you just pay for uh, the monthly plan. Budget phones are gotten, like, the cheap phones have gotten better. And I, I will give Apple some credit. Their previous-gen iPhones will be, they, they do get significantly cheaper once the new one comes out. And for most people, you don't need the latest one. Yeah. I'm stupid, and I get the latest one. Because, yes. Yeah, I, I normally was never like that, but more recently, um, I, I, I've been like that. Usually, I'll probably stick with this one for a while, though, because, like, I really like this one. I've had no problems. I just switched so quickly before because well i broke like two in a row i stopped that phase though and then i very quickly hated that google 6 pro that i had so after a year once the new one came out i instantly upgraded i remember just the issues you had with your last phone that was that was rough yeah that was like i remember showing you some of them where you just feel like really my maps wouldn't work and apps wouldn't load cameras wouldn't work i think there's a goblin here Little. My son is turning into a teen this week, and we got him a budget phone that is better than my old flagship S10 Plus. That's crazy. Budget phones, yeah, they get a lot better. Yeah, it's gonna hurt me. Is that what Kyle was doing? I started off with like the the Go phone, where you had to like you know like press like you had to pay for minutes and everything, and you had to press the numbers to get to what a letter you want. Just brace yourself. It's a bonus day. Oh my God, Jay Sam, five gifted Whoa. subs. Thank you. Phones day subs. That'll pay for it. Bro, you weren't kidding. Are those the shoes that Zach gave you? Yeah. <laughs> they came with you. See? They came out off whites. Dude, you see 491. That's so many subs. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. They came it. out off white. Those are the ones that Zach gave them. They, went through, the they went through it. <laughs> what would yours be? I don't know. I just thought of that question coming in. I try to think of a question. If you had to fit what the word. Is a good if you had to fit C U M, how into your name? <laughs> your first name? Oh, would you change your first name too to try to make it as least obvious as possible? I feel like all the names are like. Because the only, I would, I would only name I think right now is Cumberba Cumberbatch. I was like, that's I, the last that's name. That's the first one that popped in my head was Cumberbatch. That's the <laughs> last name. That's Wakumi? Wakumin? I'm just saying, dude, Jackum would be cool. Jackum. Jackum. Ooh, Kamari. <laughs> Kamari's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> but, say, but that has to be your first name? Yeah. But it, but it has to be spelled C. That but the way I look at it, though, is if you're going to do Kamari, it has to be spelled C U M R. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Unit said he wants to take you down in a submarine. Yeah, the one. That oh, the one with the. Yeah. yeah. With the $30 controller? With the $30 controller. Is this true? Did Emily pick out your shoes, Jackson? Oh, the white ones? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he said. Nah. I definitely, I definitely said let's go to academy because I want a pair of shoes like that. 
But then I didn't want white ones really, and that's all they had. And she's like, "What? You? They look good. You should get them." So I've been telling you, you need white shoes for the. Dude, I got so many compliments on. I have white shoes. But see, that's the that's what I'm scared of. Like I'm only I'm whipping these. You wear his to festival, and you can clean white shoes. You wash them. I've never. I haven't tried washing them yet. I I hate that about myself, but I just don't. I agree. You just throw them in the washer. What did you do? It was on. I didn't do anything. Did you not? No. I swear it was on. Matt sabotaged your PC. I didn't do it. I swear. Were these the other ones? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a fan. You know, the calcer's a good tiebreaker here. What do you think about the logo top left? Any thoughts? Um, so we have all one style and there's that's not, but it's our logo. So like <laughs> it's what Jonas said. That's that's where I would be. Do I like it? Do you like the placement? Yeah. I don't mind wearing it. Sometimes. I don't mind wearing it. That's all that's he he likes the placement. Why'd you laugh? Because <laughs> I'm just laughing because that's what Jonah did. He didn't really say anything about the placement. He was just like, yeah, the logo just doesn't match anything. <laughs> Even though it's the exact same colors. Yeah. No, it's just, it's okay, just hold on. Way. It's not that I'm going to try messing up. just like, these are all minimal. I honestly, I honestly logo. wouldn't hate if that one didn't have the logo at all. Because, like, we have one well, with the logo. The first version I made didn't have the logo. Yeah. Because I don't know if it'd be possible to take our logo and just take that green, make a cube like that, take that silver, make a cube like that, no. and then take the, the toast, make one like that. And that way it's the same, you know, three colors as these. Well, I figured that just... for branding, you usually don't change the logo to match. You use, use your actual logo. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, Disney. Because then it's not our logo like, if we change it. They'll have Walt <laughs> Disney. They'll have, like, the, the D for, like, small. They have, like, iterative versions of it. Cal, so you're way behind, brother. I'm way behind? Oh, my gosh. Not me. There's, there's been like three of them. But no, the placement's good. Sorry, if that was the main question, then forget the yeah. logo stuff. Where I was at with it is that I thought it'd be better if it was all the way top left and it wasn't surrounded by stuff like. I kind of like it being in the mix personally, but that's just me. That's fine. You're allowed to have an opinion. He was wrong. When you first made, I remember I didn't like it because you had there was nothing above it. I remember. Is that how the the new one was too? Like there was no no the logos final one we it. got yes there I don't think there were any logos around they made it like that I thought yeah see I feel like I didn't like that I liked when it had stuff around it I thought I thought you changed it because I thought originally it was like the very top corner and there was nothing like the stuff was only past it there was I'll nothing behind stuff, it Matt. and I thought you repeated the pattern some behind it where you know. what I did before yeah. is it was top Fix left it. and it was all yeah. black you space. Have to. You literally took out this stuff and that's where the logo was. But it wasn't yeah. like a ton of black space around it. Like, yeah. It every fit. morning like, I show tells me there's a limited deal on fifty percent off their subscription. Brother, we and every morning they say it's going fast. The stash is coming in quite nicely. It, oh that it, we're just gonna have to like you know. We're gonna do a short now. I swear I, I keep fixing it and then I walk away and he pointed you're, it you're, out you're this doing time. I wasn't touching it, I swear. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I think so. Three. Uh, the shirts. I got it in uh, Tennessee. Three. I know the basic specs. Three. Two. So what did you guys build today? What we have right here is an awesome custom PC that you can get over at PC Bros. Tech. Well, not this one. You can get a custom from us if you want a PC... Okay, you don't redo that. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with that. You get that there custom. This, uh, this yeah, custom right here. Right, 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 I'll make it much simpler. Three. Yeah. Two. What do you need to do? So what you guys built today? What we have right here is a custom game PC we built for a PC Bros customer, and it features the Ryzen 5 7600 and RX 6700 XT. Yeah, so if you didn't know, you can have a fully custom build planned out for you for just 10 bucks at PC Bros. And this person actually was local, so they led... Wow. Take three. Yeah. We've been struggling ever since we've been... This is like day, what? Day 12. 12. Three. Two. We're going to mess up again. Two, one. So what did you guys build today? A computer. Right, we're <laughs> take four. Let's take try that again. Take four. I really want to go to take four. Piggy Tech, we've we've been on the struggle bus. Three. Two. Do you wanna, do I get in here? So what you guys build today? What we have right here is a custom gaming PC for a PC Bros customer that features the Ryzen 5 7600 and RX 6700 XT. Yeah, so if you didn't know, we can actually build your gaming PC. You can either do it online and we can ship it to you, or this person actually came and brought the parts to us and said, how much for you all to build it? And we said, we'll do it for you, and we'll do it on live stream. So yeah, if you want to bring your parts if you're local to the Louisville, Kentucky area, we can build your gaming PC for you, or you can go to PCBros.tech and get a build consultation today, and, uh, well, shop around of all our other PCs that are in stock if you don't want to wait. Go check it out. 
You guys did not say a single speck of this PC. <laughs> I don't think you remembered it all. He's going to have a build sheet. <laughs> uh, I was, well, well, the, first short, time, like, the first time you said it, and uh, I just uh, PC Bros build shop. I, I, I thought <laughs> I said, said 7600 GPU. Uh, I didn't say anything else. Hmm, that's bad. As long as he said that, then we're good. So what'd you guys build today? Wow, what, a, what an enthusiastic would you guys build today? Yep. I said something. So what are, what are the specs again? <laughs> Horizon 5, 7600, and the 6700 XP. All right, gamers. We're finding somebody to raid. This man, Jonah, has a banana hanging out of his bag. Oh. Where, where am I? Oh, there it on. is. Y'all can see it. You said 6700 XP? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, yeah, why is the top like that? Give, a little, give it a little diddle. It. Oh, Jonah, today's a special day, buddy. <laughs> is it Wednesday? Day? Thank, you it's a the, day. thank you for the sub. It is? Sandwich. It's a Wednesday. Dude, thank God. I was not feeling it today. You were not feeling that banana today. No. <laughs> small banana. That's small pinky tug? But I think what, what is way small above average? I, I, that's above average for me. Deformation says, hi, Jonah. Hey, Def. Oh, I love the little emojis, bro. <laughs> Well, it warms, it, it makes my morning. Jackson. Huh? It's like my morning coffee. Fell and broke. Like a morning from death. Fell and broke? Yeah. Well, it was a broken frame, but I assume it fell. Do you know where Space Jam was? Uh, Space Jam poster. Oh, right there. Like, right in front of you. Like, on the wall about where Matt's standing. Like, behind you, Matt. Oh, was it right here? Yeah, it was below the Kentucky one. It's just like, the, the frame is broken. Oh, God. It's just okay. sitting here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. IDK. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I have to fall asleep looking at your stash. Is there any way to reach out to you guys for business advice? Um, realistically, I'm going to say it's best if you talk to us during the stream or maybe like on discord because if you message us on like instagram twitter facebook we will very likely not respond we don't really check those messages very much <laughs> don't insult your girl i was and i was just making fun all right guys we're waiting sick on nami see y'all tomorrow morning same time peace out love y'all